So here's a quick video on adding afterburners to the XFLY uh, twin 40 millimeter uh, F14. Okay. Um, the, these afterburners uh, I got from RC Castle. Um, I'll put them in the link below. Um, since the motors on the um, uh, F14 are outrunners, then those metal or plastic clips that you just saw, they fit onto the um, EDF itself. So this one's uh, a little bit different in that the um, covers for the motor mounts are not screwed in. They're actually glued in. You can see here on the, on the fin there that it's glued in there along with the cover there. And so you have to do some careful cutting there um, to open those up, but it's, it's not that difficult with a, a sharp exacto uh, uh, knife. So here by carefully uh, and, and using a little patience, cutting around the, the motor cover and then also the um, uh, the fin there, um, I was able to get that off. Here's what it looks like once you get that cover off. Um, here the motor mount or the EDF is not screwed in, right? It's actually glued in. So you do have to kind of carefully um, cut around it and then you can pull it up. You, know, you do have to use a little bit of force to pull it up um, and that's what I did. So I ended up cutting a little bit of the foam on the side of the, of the fan um, to get it out of there, but um, you know, you just work it and it'll come up. Here's one of the afterburners installed on the, um, the EDF. So there's some um, brackets, if you will, uh, like six of them, I guess, on the back side. And all you're doing is attaching those little fins on the afterburner to those brackets. Okay. So what you want to do is to minimize the, um, the obstruction to the airflow coming out of the fan um, with the afterburner um, uh, legs there, the mounts, and also the wires there. So you can see that I tried to get them uh, as tight as I could and, and to minimize the obstruction of the airflow. So here you can see the afterburners on both engines are installed um, and some of the wiring that, that's yet to be cleaned up. And then here's the wiring that's cleaned up into that tray there. You kind of have to be careful with that tray um, and making sure that you fit those wires in there just right to ensure that the cover for that tray um, will lay flat. So you have to play with it a little bit. Hard to see in this picture, but this is um, the finished uh, for the cockpit where we have the um, balance lead connected up to the lights. And then we have the, um, uh, the signal for the lights can uh, widen to the uh, throttle connector. And here's the finished product.